It's a parent's worst nightmare. You take your eyes off your toddler for just a few minutes and they disappear. Yeah, it's happened to one Elyria family twice in just a few weeks. News Channel 5's Home of Bash tells us this time police are holding the parents accountable. She was crying. She was very afraid. And it's a miracle she didn't get hit. And one person not paying attention, texting on her phone, and she'd be gone. Amanda Javache was driving down West River Road in Elyria Sunday afternoon when she spotted something in the middle of the busy street. A toddler dodging traffic. And she was, I mean, my three year old's this tall. She was this yeah, tall. Javache says her mom and sticks immediately kicked in, so she threw her car in park and jumped out. Come here, baby. And she came running, running to me and she threw her arms around my neck and buried her head in my neck. She buckled the three year old girl into her own daughter's car seat, threw a blanket over her, pulled over, and called police. Officers showed up at the same time as the girl's frantic father. Dad was freaking out. Oh my God. You know, he said he was cooking and he turned around and the door was open and she was gone. He's like, you know, we've got all the locks in place. I don't know what happened. But it's not the first time this little girl's gotten out. Two weeks ago, Elyria police picked her up from this Planet Fitness across the street after employees found her wandering around alone inside. And then we stopped her and asked her, and she said her mom's at the movies and her dad's sleeping. It's about a quarter mile from this apartment where her parents told officers they had just moved in and hadn't properly secured. Folks here at Lorain County Children's Services tell me they've been working with the family since that first incident to make sure it doesn't happen again. So were police. This time around, they charged Father Chris Peterson with child endangering. I just, I know that he didn't plan for her to be running around. I know that. And that was Home and Bash reporting. We did reach out to the girl's family, but they told us they had no comment except that she is doing okay. Her dad, by the way, due in court on Wednesday.